Oi gente, tudo bem com vocês? Hoje estou aqui com... Adam. Onde está o Adam? Onde está o Adam? On Instagram. Um, so yeah, we're here currently in Brazil together. Um, we just met up a few days ago in Brasilia. I showed Adam around Brasilia. So I'm currently staying here with my girlfriend. And Adam, you've been doing a little bit of traveling around. Yeah, here. Uh, I've been all over. I've been to a lot. Of, how many states have I been to right now? Been to Sao Paulo, Rio, Santa Catarina, um, Amazon, Belém, um, so Pará, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Minas, now Goiás, and Distrito Federal. We're here in Brasilia. So um, I'm really happy that I got to meet Jake because we've been, you know, kind of chatting on Instagram here and there and uh, we finally got to meet up. Yeah, so today we're going to answer some questions that we received on Instagram. Just from you guys, really, your curiosities about kind of what we're, we're doing in Brazil, how we kind of perceive Brazil, how it is traveling Brazil. We got a bunch of questions. We're going to answer them. So yeah, that's what we're going to do in this video. Should we... Yeah, should let's start? do it. Let's, let's check it out. Let's see what the people asked us here. O que exatamente o gringo gosta de fazer no Brasil? What does a gringo like to do in Brazil? It's a very general... It is. It is. But, I mean, we can only speak for ourselves, right? For me, personally, I, I, I love traveling around Brazil because it has so many different, like, diverse cultures within Brazil, from north to south. It changes a lot. The foods change a lot. The sceneries change a lot. I really enjoy exploring the nature here. There's so much to explore in Brazil, so it's kind of endless. When you come from a country like England, it, it's kind of a... There, there's, a there's a few things to see, but compared to Brazil, it, it's, it's not the same, so coming to this country, it just feels like there's endless places to explore. Yeah, there's so much diversity here and it really changes throughout um, between the states that you go to. For me personally, um, I like a mix of everything. The first time I came here was Carnival 20, 2018, 2018, um, and it was just all party and it was really, really fun and that's the experience that a lot of gringos have. But when I came back now, it was kind of like, you know, when things were winding down from the pandemic, um, I got to see a different side of Brazil because there wasn't as much party and this is, was more of a cultural immersion for me So going around to all these different states and getting to meet the different people and hear the different accents and taste the different fruits and foods So I'm feeling more of that diversity and I'm loving it a lot more now um, That I get to meet the actual people so for me It's really about meeting the people tasting the foods and seeing the nature yeah, I mean, I, I did the same when I first came to Brazil. I went straight into Carnival, but I, I knew there was more to Brazil than the Carnival because I made plans to stay here for two months. It just happened that I started my trip when the Carnival started. So I went straight into Carnival, but after that, I did some exploring. I went around Goais and went to Cachoeiras, um, you know, and just kind of explored the other side of Brazil. And that was the part that I, I, I enjoyed the most and made me think like, I want to spend more time here and explore more. Yeah. Of course I want to go carnival again as well. Oh um, <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Os dois gringos conversando em português. Not really a question, it's like gringos falam <laughs> português. This is a command. Eu, eu não falo português muito bem. Uh, estou aprendendo. Uh, Adam, você fala ele português. Ele fala, ele fala bem. bem. Ele tô Ele só tá com vergonha, eu acho, mas eu tô falando <laughs> português cada dia e eu tô melhorando muito também no meu tempo aqui no Brasil. E eu já eu já Você consegue entender tudo o que eu falo? Uh, eu, eu entendi, eu entendo uh, muito, na verdade, mas uh, eu não falo muito bem porque eu sempre... Demora até você pensar sim, e traduzir sim, na cabeça. Exatamente. Até que você... I need to, I need to like practice speaking more while I'm here, and that way I'll start to remember. I have actually been studying with a tutor for the past year, so that's enabled me to kind of really practice pronunciations and that kind of thing. Muito bom. Um, but now I'm here in Brazil, I need to really start to exercise that Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> e galera, para quem que perguntou isso sobre a gente conversar em português, na verdade, é muito mais difícil para mim falar em português com alguém que eu já sei que ele fala inglês. Entendeu? Porque ele fala nativo inglês, eu tô falando nativo inglês, então pra gente é meio estranho pra mim falar com ele em português. Exatamente. Com brasileiro, eu preciso falar em português, então eu acho é. que meu português sai melhor assim. Quando, quando eu mais fluente, talvez, talvez posso yeah, uh, we can do conversar it. Um pouco. Compartilham as experiências engraçadas que viveram no Brasil. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> any funny experiences you lived in Brazil yes. in your time here? Yeah, I mean, there's many. There's always one I remember. First time coming to Brazil, I went to 
to my girlfriend's family house and I took a shower and you have these like plugs in Brazil, right? With the, where you close and open it. Something we don't have in England. You, you have a plug hole and it, it stays open. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't really pay much attention to it. So I was taking a shower in the house and like the water was, was just slowly increasing. <laughs> And I was thinking like something's wrong, like the pipes are the pipes are blocked or something, or like it's a very it's a very slow drainage oh, in this yeah. house. And I was thinking like it must be just slow drainage. And then like I just heard some like shouting outside and some like panicking and I, I realised that all the water was just creeping out <laughs> under the door. And I was like shit and, and then Tommy came over to me, open open the plug and I was like, What do you mean open the plug? And then I clocked, I realised I was like, opened it, I was like, Oh shit. That's I felt hilarious. stupid, I felt stupid, but yeah, it's just I don't know. Do you, do you know <laughs> I think I think that I think that was that was really funny because it's gonna be hard for me to beat that one because like my experiences were just kind of like I guess it was funny if, if anyone else would see it, but it just kind of happened alone. Like the fact that you had the family there, yeah, like made it in that whole drama. <laughs> but for me, mine actually has to do with the bathroom as well because uh, I moved into my first Airbnb um, in Sao Paulo, and one day my toilet just it wasn't flushing right. Like the water. <laughs> It wouldn't, instead of going down, it would go up and then it would slowly go down. And I was like, this is a brand new apartment. It's a nice place. The bathroom's nice. What's happening here? And so eventually I contacted later. I'm like, I need a plumber. And the plumber came here and he just fixed the whole thing. And then he looks at me. He's like, now joga papel no vazio. Tem buraco pequeno. And then he was like, you know, you're, you're. So gringo custom fazer isso, right? Like gringos, like I guess, I mean, some toilets can handle it here. You just throw some toilet do, paper yeah, in yeah. the toilet. Yeah. But yeah, so that was like, I just had to get the plumber uh, over and I was like, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where like, you're so used to just throwing it down the toilet. I know when I come to Brazil, like I'm, I'm aware of it um, because I, I, I've been here before. But yeah, I've done it a few times where I've thrown it down the toilet. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> is, there it was, gonna, is it gonna flush? <laughs> There was a <laughs> yeah. O que mais gostam no Brasil? O que menos gostam? Quais as maiores dificuldades? It's it's a it's a deep answer, isn't it? Really, there's a lot. There's a lot of things I like here. Obviously, like as I said previously, the fact that it's such a big country, so diverse, a lot to explore. I think one of the biggest differences coming from England is that the f the kind of passing by people. Brazilians are a bit more, well, they're definitely more warmer in day-to-day -day situations. Yeah. Even like the apartment I'm in now, you get in a lift and you just bomb you a botage. And when you walk out of the lift, they say like, have a good day. In England, it's always like a bit like awkward, yeah. you know, but with Brazilians, it's very comfortable, which is nice. It makes a nice change coming from where I am. Where Here, you, you can feel like, just, just open up, man. Just yeah, say yeah, whatever. It's true. So, yeah, what I, I, I would like the... The abertura das pessoas, that openness. You know, I like the ease of going out and um, making friends because human warmth, calor humano, is something that is very special here in Brazil. But the thing is, I recognize it in other cultures as well. But what's nice about it in Brazil is that the friendship thing can be very fast and can be very instant. You can still have a warm culture, but people take time to take a longer time to you know become friends. Here in Brazil, it's like. You can go out alone, you can go sit at a restaurant alone or at a bar alone and talk to people or on the beach and talk to people and then you get to that level of, oh, we're friends now, you know, let's do something tomorrow, um, which is really cool and it helps for people who are traveling alone, like me. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more welcome in here in terms of like receiving us as foreigners. Uh, it, it, Brazilians are, it, are a lot more welcoming and that's like one of the main things that I felt in this country that made me feel like welcome and the reason why I was like I want to come back I want to spend more time here 100% so um, what do you like less it's a difficult one to say but I guess the one thing that always sticks in my mind is obviously this country suffers from quite a high crime rate and it's always on your mind especially when you're in certain places and I you know I grew up in England where like generally crime is quite low but I've past 10 years I've lived in London, I've suffered, I've been a victim of crime in London myself. You know, I've spoke to Brazilians in London who live there and they always say they feel a lot more comfortable. Just simple things, walking along with your phone, not having to worry, walking late at night, that kind of stuff. And obviously in, in Brazil, in certain cities, that can be a bit of a problem. So I think it's fair to say this, there's something like I dislike about this country and it's not the fault of the people, it's the fault of, you know, the situation in this country. It's just, yeah, obviously. it's kind of like that, it's that, 
uncomfortableness of kind of just like having to look over your shoulder yeah. sometimes and yeah. you know things that you don't really think about like I don't think about when I'm in the states or when I'm in Israel or whatever but um but yeah but it takes getting used to definitely and yeah. every country just has its things yeah I mean I like to think of myself like I said I grew up in, in cities all my life so I've always been a bit kind of aware like I never leave stuff in the car like I'm not that naive um, but there's certain especially like for me when I go to like Rio and I'll see everyone says be careful in Rio yeah and living in London you can you can be a bit irresponsible most of the time you can sort of stumble at a nightclub at 2 a.m. and think shall I walk home you're probably gonna be all right whereas in Rio it's like don't do that I think it, yeah look <laughs> I, yeah I think it's I think it's legit uh, you know to be cautious and everything but I think it's also a lot of talk there's a lot of talk like I've met people in Sao Paulo Brazilians who've never went to Rio just because yeah. of that whole talk of yeah. um, and then meanwhile gringos that's their first destination yeah I mean I think you guys can agree with us agree with us as Brazilians it's probably one of the downfalls of this country and it's something that frustrates everyone in this country um, what I let what I like less is um, you know bureaucracies everywhere but for me as a foreigner even though I've learned the language and even though I feel comfortable um, with the people um, the whole CPF thing <laughs> CPF is like one part of it what I think um, my answer would be for this question what I like less is more you know, I wish that um, Brazil would be a little more um, ready to receive foreigners um, in terms of bureaucracy. But on the other hand, you know, for me, for somebody who's trying to improve in the language and somebody who's trying to immerse in the culture, I don't really mind it so much at the end of the day because I deal with the difficulties. But I've come across like way too many situations where I just, I don't have the CPF. This. And I can't do this simple yeah. transaction because I don't have the CPF. Um, but if you're wondering how I resolve the problem, I just call one of my friends that's Brazilian and people here are more than happy to help. So I always solve the problem at the end of the day. It has not made it a bad experience here in Brazil. Um, just a minor setback that, you know, if somebody asked the question, what do you like less? That would be mine. Yeah, it's funny that that type of thing about receiving like people from all around the world is like, it's simple things like when I was trying to connect to a public Wi-Fi and it's like what country are you from Brazil Chile or Argentina and I was like but there's more countries than that like, <laughs> that's hilarious as comidas que vocês gostam ah, so for me um, I love pastichos no? and like my favorite thing is cold. like the appetizers just like like the like a more like snacks like pastel coxinhas this type of thing so pastel with caldo chicana is like it's that one thing that I just, I can never, I don't think I'd ever get bored of it. But in general, like in terms of cuisine, for me as well as like a chahasco, all the meats, feijão tropeiro, yeah, yeah, I yeah. love feijão tropeiro. And just everything that comes with a chahasco, I love that. I love Brazilian food so much, even though I don't eat pork. And there's a lot of pork, so, you know, I can have the feijão tropeiro, I can have the linguiça, you know, I don't have bacon. But what I love, top, top, top food, Acai. Acai is good. Too. Acai. I, I know like it's it. not it's not real food, it's not comida de verdade as the Brazilians say, but it's so good. And I also had it in the north in Belém do Pará, which was amazing. I've had it all over Brazil. Um, and I'm a big picanha guy. So big churrasco like yeah. picanha, cupim, um, fraldinha, and then the whole rice and beans situation yeah. with farofa, farofa de ovo, the egg farofa. 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 It's very good too. Um, there's a lot of flavors here and the yes. fruits the fruits yeah the fruits i'm gonna make a whole video on fruits you gotta make like, a video on fruits ah, there's just so much better here even like in england you get a lot of fruits imported but mangoes are not the same in england no the, you gotta make a video on fruits i can make um, an hour video on fruits in this country fruits, the guavas and mangoes are like my two favorites i don't know there's so many it's, it's, it's endless here as well and you can make it's also that also goes to like um when you go to like a juice bar or something and they have like endless amounts of juice yeah. yeah and the fish fish is the really freshwater good. fish in the amazon and the fish or the bacalhau here and the tambaki mm -hmm. in manaus jake you gotta go eat that yeah i had some we went to the market and bought some freshwater fish uh, on the weekend and i had it for lunch it's very good yeah sobre a diferença dos brasileiros de cada estado aonde se sentiu mais ou e menos acolhido so i've been to i've been to you know brasilia uh, I've been to Goiás, I've been to Minas, I've been to Rio, I've been to Bahia. 
So I can say what, what I feel for five states, right? Iron's are super laid back and there's like, they're, they're chilled, they're cool. Rio, super friendly, but also quite chaotic. Like, you know when you've arrived in Rio and you get in a taxi and the guy's just like, he's just talking. It's yeah. a bit like when you arrive in London and like, you get like what we call cockneys that they just waffle, they just <laughs> talk a lot. Yeah. That's like what Rio, people in Rio are like very, they're, they're, they're good, they have good vibes, friendly people. In Minas, I mean, I, I was there in like the interior, right? countryside and there there was very welcoming I didn't really like have much contact with people in Belo Horizonte so it's difficult to yeah. say on that one and Go Ice again I would say quite similar to like that countryside kind of welcoming quite laid back and and, and just yeah friendly um, Brasilia I don't know <laughs> Brasilia is like popular. Brasilia is its own thing no yeah I guess it's like a it's like a mix it's like because, a melting pot of everything. Because Brasilia has like people from all around Brazil. It's, it's, Brasilia is only like 60 years old. So a lot of the people have come from other places um, across Brazil. So it's also harder to run into people here. You don't pass them on the street. You just kind exactly, of everyone. Just, exactly. it, it reminds me of Florida, like where I was born and raised, where you just get in the, leave your house, get in the car, go to work. Yeah, no, it's, it's like, strange. It, it depends where you are in what area of Brasilia you're in. It very it changes because you yeah. have like, you're kind of, areas with younger people which are a bit more definitely a bit more friendly then you have your people where it's a bit more like uh maybe people that work in politics and they're definitely like yeah they're snobby they're snobby and they sort of walk around with their nose stuck up I, I, i've been in a few places in brasilia where you get that vibe i felt that in various neighborhoods and in various cities in brazil i think it depends on a lot of different things um, like I feel it sometimes in Sao Paulo, mm. but on the other hand, I feel like I meet people in Sao Paulo who are super welcoming and warm. Yeah, yeah. But um, for me, there's two cities where people were just incredible to me, like no other: um, Manaus and Belém, nice. um, in the north. I don't know what it was. Like, I just I didn't feel alone for one second. Like people just wanted to know what I was doing and like. Do I want to go with them to this bar or to this restaurant? Do I want to, you know what I mean? So like, I feel like I had to make more of an effort to make my friendships in Sao Paulo. Whereas like the few days that I was in the, in the Amazon, I mean, I was in the, I was in the region for 10 days. So yeah. five days, man, I was five days by them. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, I always felt like I was part of the crew. Um, like I was part of the friend group. Um, they were so interested to show me places and, you know, give me foods to taste and take me sightseeing and, that was just awesome, but I haven't been to the Northeast yet, so I really don't want to like summarize the whole, you know, who's friendlier in Brazil and who's <laughs> less friendly, but I think it also depends on the experiences. I believe so, yeah. I'm yet to go to North of Brazil, um, so I can't speak on that, but yeah, I've, I've, I think I've heard good things about people from North of Brazil as well. Diferença entre British and American accents, so like, <laughs> se vocês estão assistindo esse vídeo, você pode perceber que o Jake Fala diferente do que eu falo e eu sou gringo dos Estados Unidos originalmente e ele da Inglaterra. Um, não sei, se vo o que vocês acham sobre a diferença entre os sotaques, pode deixar aqui nos comentários. I, right? I think we should let the viewers decide. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but no, let me know which, which accent is nicer, which is better. His is a lot more, it's a lot, it's a lot prettier, I know, it's a lot yeah, more. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> but a lot of people like the British accent, I know. In terms of like... I think I think like always people from USA say they love the British accent, but the feelings never like neutral from British people. I don't have nothing wrong with it. If we say that we love the British accent, it's because it it maybe it reminds us of some like old time film that we watched, or like you know, it's just nice. But I don't think we would prefer to talk that way. It just feels like it would you know I can do a British accent, but it just it's so much energy for me. What I do want to say. Um, in this context now, we're talking about Brazil and Portuguese and everything. I think that the um, English accent and the American accent are closer together than the Portuguese from Portugal and the Portuguese from Brazil. I feel like there's a lot bigger of a difference between Portuguese from Portugal and Portuguese from Brazil. Um, like when I hear those two accents, I'm just like, this is a different language. And I don't feel that way in English. I feel like we're speaking the same language. It's just yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely like we use we use different words in British English and you use different words in American English. Some of the times can confuse things a little like bit. Like minor differences, minor like some differences. slang. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe like you know, oh, there's one key difference where like you know I'll call 
I'll I'll call pants like I'll call this pants, you yeah, know. And yeah. you, pants for you is trousers, an underwear is like trousers. Yeah. yeah, pants is underwear, and we say trousers. We have several things: sidewalks and pavement, you know, rubbish and, and trash. And rubbish, and rubbish, and yeah. yeah. So. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think about the accents. Um, and if you're learning English, we'd also like to know what if you're learning any other languages. Tell us about your experience because we are language learners ourselves. Um, what yeah, else? Do we have? I know a lot of Brazilians said they they find the American accent easier to learn, but I feel like because because they watch movies, because they watch a lot. Of yeah, films, if yeah. you if somebody you know if if a Brazilian were to be born and raised in a British household, you know, or around English people yeah. all the time, then you know they jump into that world. But if you're far away and you're just watching movies and they're from the states, it's, that's yeah. the one that you're gonna want to learn. So we pretty much covered all the, the yeah we covered all the questions that we got. I'm um, obviously. We're accessible in the comments. I'm always accessible in the comments. Adam will be jumping on YouTube. If you want to post any more questions in the comments, we'll try and answer them there. Um, but until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed our, our question times, and I hope you know that we gave you a good insight to you know our, our view of Brazil. Yeah. So, guys, definitely, um, you can always keep on asking us questions, and feel free to follow us also on Instagram, so you can watch our day to day. Um, you know, that's where I like to show my daily adventures, what I'm doing, what I'm eating, who I'm hanging out with. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we definitely like to make some more videos for you guys also on YouTube. So um, let us know in the comments if there's anything that you would have wanted us to speak about that you didn't get to hear in this video. Please let us know and make sure to check us out on both platforms, YouTube and Instagram. We've got Fale Con Jake and Onjistao Adam. We'll put that in the description yeah, as well. We'll put it in the description. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and go out. And you got a channel as well, Adam, right? You're trying to start up a channel. Yeah, yeah. So I'll post Adam's channel down in the link. He makes very cool videos. I'm hoping to see more from your channel as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. We're just getting started, but it's uh, we got a lot more to see. Então, beleza? Até mais. Tchau. Até mais.